Each year, 23,000 Americans die and 8 million are hospitalized as a result of antibiotic-resistant infections. And it has nothing to do with prescription medication. While you may want to take a closer look at what's on your plate. It might look good, but what's added to beef, pork, and poultry has the attention of the CDC and hospitals all over the U.S. 80% of the antibiotics used in this country are used in animal agriculture. That's 30 million pounds of antibiotics used every year to treat animals that aren't even sick. Antibiotics are fed to livestock to prevent disease and promote growth. While it's not a new practice, Amy Collins says it's time to stop. This practice of giving them low-dose antibiotics in their food on a daily basis is the perfect opportunity to breed antibiotic-resistant bacteria. These antibiotic-resistant bacteria from meats can be passed on to you and me, making once treatable conditions more problematic. There's many patients who um, are difficult to treat because they have resistance to antibiotics. Government tests of raw supermarket meat found antibiotic-resistant bacteria in 81 percent of ground turkey, 69 percent of pork chops, 55 percent of ground beef, and 39 percent of chicken. Spearheaded by health care without harm, hospitals around the U.S., like Spalding Rehabilitation, are now serving meat antibiotic-free. In the long run, it, it's, it's far more efficient in the health care to purchase antibiotic-free meat than it is to have patients um, stay longer in hospitals. A practice they hope other hospitals, restaurants, and supermarkets will follow. So what should you look for? Experts recommend buying meat labeled USDA certified organic. And if you're handling raw meat, always make sure to wash your hands.